I'm kind of just going to give a rundown of like what 80 day obsession is, how it's different than 21 day fix and my experience is like so far. So I'm only on day 13. So I'm pretty new into the program. And if you follow me, you've probably done 21 day fix or maybe you watched me do 21 day fix and it is different than 21 day fix. Those workouts are only like 30 minutes ish. These workouts are almost an hour, almost every day. And that was a huge like, ooh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do an hour of workouts every day, but I will say there's a lot of talking in between each move. So I actually, I feel like, I feel like it's probably about the same amount of work so far as 21 Day Fix in 80 Day Obsession, but there's a lot of talking, a lot of setup. You have to like use bands. So you're setting up the bands, you're getting weights, you're using the sliders. Like there's like a lot of different equipment that you use in the program too. So that's how it's a little bit different than 21 Day Fix. Also, the nutrition piece is very different. It, there's like the color coded containers are the same, but the timed nutrition is confusing AF. Like, I still don't understand it. I'm on day 13 and I'm like, uh, I'm basically just following what the plan exactly told me to eat when I should eat it. Um, there's a couple different examples. Like if you work out in the morning, the getting started guide tells you like when you should eat what colored containers. And in the 21 day fix, you can pretty much eat any color containers like anytime you want. So that's cool. Let me see, I wrote some notes down so I can, oh. Um, that's called timed nutrition, so that's totally different than 21 Day Fix. A lot of people are in a support group on Facebook. It's just, you could just type in 80 Day Obsession. You have to answer a couple questions and then they will like approve you to get into the group, but it is very helpful. Like if you ask a question, there's like a bazillion people in that group willing to help you. Um, of course, if you have a coach, that's cool too. Like obviously ask your coach, but um, that's been a really big help for me. I've been posting, you know, questions in there or like even I've been trying to like give back too. So I've been like posting recipes in there. So that's been very helpful. Um, I would recommend if you're going to do 80 day obsession and you haven't done any workouts in a while, I would start not with 80 day obsession. <laughs> like I started with bar blend. I literally was a lazy sloth that had did nothing for months. My back was hurting. Like I felt like a piece of crap. Then I did bar blend because I knew that would be kind of easy and it was. Then I eased back in with 21 day fix. And then I was gonna do 21 day fix extreme, but I was like, no, I kind of, I feel ready. I feel ready to get into this. So I did, I jumped into 80 day obsession and I had tried 80 day obsession like before bar blend and could barely do any of the moves. But then after I did bar blend, 21 day fix, the moves were not, I won't say easy, but they were like physically doable. So I would start, if you have done absolutely nothing and bar blend interests you, these are all beach body programs, by the way. So if bar blend interests you, I would do that. If it doesn't, I would just do 21 day fix um, and then go into this. So if the time for nutrition freaks you out, like I said, just follow the example guide. There's like a couple different times. If you work out at night, there's a different one you can follow. I've been working out at like 1030 ish. And it's kind of nice to know that you're doing the time nutrition because when I wake up in the morning, I know I get something to eat. Then I do my workout, then I have my recovery meal. And basically all of that happens by 12. So then I can have my 12 o'clock meal, three o'clock meal, six o'clock meal, nine o'clock meal. So this is taking some getting used to. When I did the calculations at first, I was plan D and I think there's like F number of plans. I don't know, a lot of plans. So I was playing D, but I was right on the cusp of playing D and C. So I did D and I didn't lose or gain any weight in the first week, week and a half. So I was kind of like, ooh, this is probably my maintenance. So I dropped down to playing C and I just did that recently. So I did end up losing almost a pound already, but I feel like that's probably water weight. I need to like wait for my body to get adjusted to find out what that really is. But I feel like if you're on the cusp, you can go down a plan at the beginning, but a lot of people in the support group on Facebook say you're gonna want those calories later. So I'm kind of like, okay, I'll jump back into plan D if I'm feeling hungry or if I'm losing a lot of weight, which is kind of a hard thing for people to do because if you're losing a lot of weight, which is what you want to do, 
you may not want to eat more and lose less weight, but in the long run, it will be more sustainable. So I've done this before. I lost like 30 pounds a long time ago when I did the 21 day fix. I was like an active beach body coach. Um, and then it just kind of like slowly crept all back on. I was feeling miserable and now I'm slowly creeping back into it. Not actively coaching, just trying to like drag my own body through this process now and share it with you guys. So I'm only on day 13, like I said, uh, the time nutrition is confusing, like very confusing. I hope it gets easier. <clears throat> A lot of people in the Facebook group says it will get easier, just keep doing it. But on the other hand, I kind of like how it's telling me exactly what containers to eat when. That's been interesting because with 21 day fix, I would be like, oh, I have three yellows. Like I could have an entire bagel. That's two yellows. And then by the end of the day, I want more because I didn't space them out. And with 80 day obsession, the containers are really spaced out, which I like. So you're not trying to eat like too much of one thing at one time. And then you're hungry for more later. So it's been kind of nice so far again, only day 13. I'm halfway through phase one. It's obviously 80 days long. There's three phases. Um, from what I hear, the first phase is just kind of getting used to the moves. Um, some of the workouts are harder than others. Some I enjoy more than others. Phase two, they start adding, and I will share my progress with this, but they start adding in phase two, these things called modified refeed days, which <laughs> there's like a list of yellow container items that you can have that aren't on the original list. Like ones like six saltine crackers. Like you can have a half of a three inch bagel. Like there's like things that are supposed to be like treats and you can have those on those days. Um, the second phase is supposed to be a building phase. I mean, I feel like it's gotta all be the same, but I don't know. And then the third phase is like a cutting type of phase. I don't know, but I will share with you guys as I keep doing this and let you know what I think, my true and honest opinions. I'm not even coaching anybody right now, so I'm just kind of sharing with you what I'm doing, like I've always been doing on this channel, on this page. Thanks for following along. If you guys have any specific questions, you can leave them below. Um, and I'll try to, of course, I'll answer them. And let me see, let me make sure that I said everything. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. The getting started guide is really helpful um, on Beachbody On Demand, like you can print. I have like an entire binder of stuff I printed. So it's helpful, but also, like I said, the support group is helpful. If you don't want to sit here and like read all of this crap, you can really just kind of jump in with like one or two pages of this and then just get started. So. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I see a couple of you guys hopped on live and I'm sure most of you will see the replay. So let me know if you have any questions and I will talk to you soon.